The whole reason behind why I started painting, something actually happened to me in 2012. So let me just go a bit back. I was always a creative child, someone who was, any pen, lipstick I would pick up, I would go and draw. And I actually took up fine art up until sixth form. So I was painting until I was about 17 or 18. However, I then went on to university and studied psychology. And during my time of doing this degree in 2012, one day after not visiting the dentist for a number of years, I know you're probably thinking, what does a dentist have to do with this? Um, I went over to get my teeth checked. Turns out I needed a filling done. So just went in there unknowingly thinking it's just gonna be a normal trip to the dentist, no biggie. After I got out of the dentist chair and I checked my teeth, I noticed that half of my face was slanted and I thought, okay, it's probably just the anesthetic. I went home, tried to drink a glass of water and the glass of water, the water literally spilled out of my mouth. So I thought, okay, again, I spoke to the dentist and he said, oh, you know, it will be gone in a couple of hours. A couple of hours came and my face was still the same. So I slept it off. The next morning I woke up and half my face was completely paralysed. So how you see my face now is not how it was. This eye, I was unable to shut. My nose was over here, my mouth was over here. And when I would smile, all of the pressure from my face would push all the way to this side. So just to put things into a bit of perspective, when you brush your teeth and you spit, if I spat now and then as if I was spitting into a sink, it would go and hit someone over there on the right. And I went to the hospital in frantic, sent over to emergency and the doctor uh, told me that I had something called Bell's palsy. In that moment, as you can imagine, my heart absolutely sank. Um, he told me that the dentist had hit my cranial nerve on the left side of my face, um, which had left half my face completely paralyzed. I had a very, very extreme case. I started begging to the, I said to the doctor, please, do you think this will ever resolve? He looked at me and said, unfortunately, you have a very, very, very severe case and this looks like it may be permanent. As you can imagine, I'm a, I'm a young woman and, you know, we take pride in the way we look. So having my face completely distorted, distorted, completely changed, you know, the way I viewed myself and I started to see myself as ugly for a very long time because of what I'd gone through. I remember about a week or two into the facial paralysis, I was actually on the way to the hospital to get a checkup, and I turned to my right and a stranger smiled at me. I smiled back and the stranger literally done that because when I smiled, again as I mentioned earlier, everything pushed to the right. And this moment I started to cry because I hadn't left my house for weeks. Who would want to leave their house for weeks? Who's someone who sees himself as ugly. I was even afraid to turn on the light. So I spent about two weeks crying because every single day I was taking about 10 pills of steroids per day. Doctor said I had to wear an eye patch. You know what pirates wear? Literally an eye patch because I couldn't close my eyes. So when I would shower, all the water would go into my eye. So two weeks I was crying and crying and crying. And then one day I said, you know what, I've had enough. I'm not going to let the devil defeat me anymore. Sarah, you've been crying every single day. And I felt like the more and more I cried, it was like me saying to um, the devil, okay, yeah, you're right. God isn't really here. He doesn't really love me. So I, I changed this and I instead I started to, anytime I would feel sad, I started to listen to gospel and just dance and I started praying I even tried to fast but my mum was like you can't because you're taking steroids so I probably would have passed out so I stuck with the prayer and I promise you I kid you not the more and more I prayed I started to feel my face moving my face would literally tingle so I'd get up and I'd run to the mirror and I would see my face literally twitching like this so I felt as though God had his hand on my face and what I started to do was I would every day look in the mirror I start to affirm to myself Sarah you're beautiful Sarah you're strong Sarah you're pretty you're kind even though I didn't believe it but I said Sarah you have to get through this and then one day for some reason something just said Sarah paint something I was like what paint I thought is this my mind is it God like what's going on because I hadn't painted in about maybe four or five years uh, so I went to the store I bought two split canvases and I came home still confused, <laughs> bought some paintbrushes, paints, all of this, got home and set it up. So I have two split canvases. So imagine like a maybe 
an A2 canvas and both split into A3s. Still don't know what I'm doing, so I just pray and I said, God, I don't know if this is you, but if it's you telling me to paint, I pray that whatever I put onto this canvas touches someone. Even if it's one person, I don't care. So, but I said, but I'm just going to obey you and I'm just going to paint anyway. So, I prayed. I done the painting, and the, the painting is just crazy because it's literally just red. Uh, my face was like pushed here, so that's the whole purpose behind why I done the two split canvases. One to kind of portray the normal side of my face and the other side to show the distorted side. Done the painting, left it. Still, many of my friends and certain family members didn't even know I was going through this, but one day I said, Sarah, as I started to get better, I said, Sarah, like God is clearly healing you. There's no way you can not share this with anyone, especially after the doctors are telling you that you're not supposed to get healed. So I decided to share my testimony on Instagram. Wrote a whole paragraph of what had happened um, and about I'm not too sure and I don't want to um, give the time but shortly after I received an email from a girl who I did not know she said that her friend had tagged her into my painting and that either that morning or the morning before she had woken up with half of her face paralyzed and in that moment I said like whoa this is crazy in that moment every Thing. I was literally shaking like this because that's something so uncommon how can someone random just else just wake up with their face paralyzed and it just showed me that well Sarah had you disobeyed God's instructions and not picked up that paintbrush and not only that had you kept that testimony to yourself and not um, shared it on your Instagram this girl wouldn't have found you and maybe she wouldn't have been able to go through what you went through because even at the time although I felt I was struggling I didn't realise at the time that I had the strength to go through what I went through and that God knew I could endure the pain that I went through and he needed me to be able to pass the strength onto her. So out of, I always say that out of my pain that I endured, my purpose was born and that's why I paint today because had I, you know, disobeyed God and not listened, I wouldn't be here as an artist. And because of what God done for me, it stressed to me the importance of why you should use your gifts because you really don't know who you'll touch with your gift, whether it's a gift of singing, painting, dancing, or wherever it could be. So yeah.